After applying liquid organic fertilizer to plants, it increases plant growth and yield. Provides nutrients. Liquid organic fertilizer provides the macro and micronutrients needed by plants for optimal growth at every stage, thereby increasing productivity. Activates microorganisms. The organic matter in liquid organic fertilizer serves as food for beneficial soil microorganisms, such as rhizobium bacteria, which aid in nitrogen fixation and support better root growth. Boosts plant immunity. With better nutrient intake and a healthy soil environment, plants become stronger and have better immunity against disease. Balakasita leaves can be used and are very suitable for making liquid organic fertilizer POC, due to their high nitrogen content, which can fertilize plants and improve soil conditions. The manufacturing process involves fermenting balakasita leaves, either with or without other organic materials, then mixing them with air for application to plants by spraying them on the leaves or pouring them onto the roots. Benefits of balakasita leaves for liquid organic fertilizer high nutrient content. Balakasita leaves are rich in nitrogen, higher than some legumes, and contain other macro and micronutrients that support plant growth. Improves fertility. POC from balakasita leaves can fertilize plants, make the soil looser, and increase crop productivity. Improves soil structure. Using this fertilizer can help improve soil structure, increase air retention, and support beneficial soil microorganisms. How to make and use POC balakasita preparation. Balakasita leaves are finely chopped and mixed with other organic ingredients such as banana stems, optional, in a container. Fermentation. The mixture is left for some time, around 2 to 4 weeks, for the fermentation process to occur. You can also add EM4 and brown sugar to speed up the fermentation process. Usage. After fermentation is complete, Balakasita POC is ready to use. Watering. Soaking. Mix POC with water in a certain ratio. For example 2 pumps of POC with 1 liter of air, then sprinkle it on the planting medium. It can be processed into liquid organic fertilizer POC, through fermentation and mixed with other organic materials such as banana stems or animal manure. Balakasita leaves are excellent because they are rich in nitrogen, while dried chives can also be used due to their nutritional content. The fermentation process can use bioactivators such as EM4 or brown sugar water to accelerate decomposition resulting in a nutrient-rich liquid fertilizer for soil fertility and plant growth. Dried chives are beneficial for plants as a source of nutrients, a botanical pesticide, a natural mulch, and a soil conditioner. They can also be processed into liquid organic fertilizer POC, to increase fertility and stimulate root, stem, and flower growth. Chives contain nutrients such as potassium and calcium, as well as active compounds such as acetogenins, which function as pesticides and growth hormones like auxins and gibberellins. Main Benefits of Dried Chives Nutrient Source Chives contain various nutrients such as potassium, K, magnesium, Mg, phosphorus, P, and iron, Fe, which are essential for plant growth. Botanical Pesticide Contains active compounds such as acetogenins, flavonoids, and essential oils that function as pest repellents, disrupt pest digestion, and repel insects. Natural Mulch a layer of dried onion skins can be applied to the soil surface to retain moisture, reduce weed growth, and enrich the soil with nutrients remaining during decomposition. How to use and process as a liquid organic fertilizer POC, finely chop dried chives, mix with water, and let ferment for several days. Afterward, strain and dilute the solution before spraying on leaves or pouring it into the soil. As a mulch, apply dried onion peels directly to the soil surface around plants. As a pesticide, make a solution by soaking onion peels in water for several days, then strain the extract. This solution can be used to spray plants to control pests. As a compost, mix onion peel waste with your compost pile. Mix it with vermicompost, as worms dislike porous materials like the peels surrounding onions. After two days of soaking, you need to filter the liquid organic fertilizer POC, to separate the residue then store it in a clean, tightly closed container for use as a foliar fertilizer or base fertilizer for plants. The purpose of using POC is to improve soil fertility and structure, as well as increase plant resistance. Steps after filtering filtering. Use a cloth sieve or other fine mesh sieve to completely separate the liquid fertilizer from the organic residue. Storage. Pour the liquid fertilizer into a clean bottle or container and seal it tightly. Keeping the liquid fertilizer tightly closed is important to prevent damage from moisture. Use. Liquid organic fertilizer can be applied by spraying it on the leaves, foliar fertilizer, or pouring it onto the soil. Base fertilizer, frequency of use. 
Regular use can improve soil fertility and increase plant resistance to pests and diseases. Balakaseda leaves as a botanical pesticide. Collect fresh, healthy Balakaseda leaves. Clean the leaves of dirt and dust. Crush the leaves by pounding, grinding, or finely chopping them. Boil the crushed leaves in boiling water for a few minutes to extract the leaves. Strain the resulting liquid to remove the pulp. Apply this extract to infested plants by spraying or watering. Chives can help repel several garden pests, such as aphids, cabbage leafers, and slugs, thanks to their strong aroma. Chives can be planted among pest-prone vegetables or used to create an organic spray by soaking the chives in water and then spraying them on the plants. How Chives Work to Repel Pests Pest Disgusting Aroma Chives have a strong aroma that many pests dislike. Can be used as a guardian. Planting chives in the center of vulnerable vegetable beds like broccoli or lettuce can help protect them from pests. Liquid Organic Fertilizer POC made from onion peels and balakaseda leaves can be applied to plants by watering or spraying them in the morning or evening, once a week. The dosage is 30 to 50 milliliters of POC dissolved in 1 liter of water for small plants, and can be adjusted for larger plants, such as 200 milliliters per fruiting chili plant. Onion skins and balakaseda leaves complete nutrition. Onion skins contain macro and micronutrients that help improve soil fertility and plant growth. Pesticide activity. Onion skins contain active compounds such as flavonoids and essential oils that function as pesticides and insect repellents, as well as balakaseda leaves, which are known to be beneficial for plants. Enhances growth. Applying liquid organic fertilizer, POC, can promote better and healthier plant growth. The best time to apply homemade liquid organic fertilizer, POC, is in the morning, 6 o'clock to 9 a.m., or afternoon, after 4 p.m., when the air temperature is not too hot and there is no rapid evaporation or risk of being washed away by rain. Application can be done by spraying it on the leaves or pouring it onto the plant's roots. Application time. Morning. Between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m., or after the dew has cleared, is a good time because the air temperature is not too high and the plant can absorb nutrients optimally. Afternoon. Around 4 p.m. and 6 p.m., when the air temperature begins to cool and evaporation is less, is also an ideal time for application. Avoidance. Avoid fertilizing during hot sun. Between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m., as this can cause rapid evaporation and reduce the effectiveness of absorption. Also avoid application during rain, as the fertilizer will be washed away and rendered ineffective. Application method watering. Watering. Pour the liquid fertilizer solution onto the soil around the plant's roots. This method is more effective for plants planted directly in the ground. Spraying. Spray the fertilizer solution onto the plant's leaves especially the undersides, for absorption through the stomata. Application interval in general, apply liquid organic fertilizer every 7 to 10 days. Important notes plant condition. Do not fertilize plants that are stressed due to drought or extreme weather conditions. Mixture. Be sure not to mix liquid organic fertilizer with incompatible chemicals, as this can reduce its effectiveness. Signs of greening in healthy plants. Brighter leaf color. Leaves will change from yellow or pale green to a fresher, brighter green glossier leaves healthy leaves will have a slightly glossy surface indicating sufficient chlorophyll improved growth new leaves will grow thicker and fresher while older leaves will fall off more slowly stem development and plant structure the plant will appear sturdier overall with healthy less spindly stems increased productivity for fruit vegetable plants if the plant is flowering or fruiting you will notice an increase in the number of flowers and fruit as well as a better higher quality harvest